Last night, Cat Williams went live on Instagram Live and told his fans he's on his way back with a new tour and stand-up special. Last time we heard from Cat was last year when he indirectly addressed Kevin Hart's new special and when he called out Trump a clown on stage in front of no audience. Someone in the comments of the live video called Cat one of their top three comedians. In response, Cat said, thank you, but he's nowhere near his peak. Cat's last stand-up special was 2018's Great America, and if the video was any indication, it looks like Cat's ready to make a comeback. Today, we've got our company hype analyst, Rita Brent Capone Pierre, calling into the show to talk about Cat's overall impact in comedy. But first, let's take a look. That's why they throw dirt on my name because I'm worthy. Hey, I appreciate you saying I'm top three. I have in no way reached my peak. That's the difference. I heard that nigga was on drugs. You better find you whatever the that nigga on. Cause that nigga been beating you in movies, TV, and stand up religiously ever since 1995. If you see Netflix putting on my other specials, that means we're already in business. You have new material. Um, this is going to be my 16th 100 city tour. Each of those has been a different hour, so I would bet yes. Now, in that, he goes on to hint at a tour and, you know, saying pretty much he, he's making a comeback. He's already in business with Netflix. Specifically, he talks about, you know, you see Netflix putting up his specials. That means they're already in business. So, Pierre, I want to come to you first. You know, this is the first time we've heard from Kat. And in this live, he also talks about, you know, he's been quarantined. That's why we also haven't seen him. But he, he's, he's making a comeback. What, what, are, what are your thoughts on, looking back on his career, what are your thoughts on his impact? Do you think that it has the respect that it needs to have? And Pierre, I'll start with you. First of all, um, the fact that we're doing a, a, a damn whole show about him coming on tour makes him top three, okay? <laughs> there's, not, there's not too many of the comics we're going to do a special about them announcing the tour. So that right there gets the top three. He is definitely in my top three, um, um, you know, up there with Dave, him, and – you know, one other person, which I, uh, you know, don't want to name because I don't want to seem like I'm talking about myself, but it's all good. <laughs> but no, um, his body of work is shown, especially his stand-up work. I mean, he's special, you know, is not, you know, it, it, it's put out on a big platform like a Netflix or whatever it is, HBO, whatever he gets to put it out on. And um, he stays relevant, um, you know, throughout his antics. Uh, but you know, I think a lot of times people get caught up in his look and his persona and not realize the genius of his stand-up comedy. Because, this guy, you know, as a comic, he says some really clever stuff. And I can tell because he keeps a fan base. Even though he doesn't have a movie out or a TV show, how do you keep selling out 10, 15,000 seaters on a tour, 100-city tour, 30-city tours, and you don't have that? I know comics who have movies left and right can't sell a comedy club out. So as far as I'm concerned, he's put his stamp on comedy and on stand-up comedy. Um, and I respect it big time, and I think it's definitely top three to me. Now, now, Rita, I wanna, I wanna come to you. What are, what are your thoughts? Is he is in your top three, and do you feel like he's respected the way that he should be? Yeah. So I don't have a top three. Like I got a top ten. I, and where, where we get this number three from? Like it's a lot of comedians that I respect, and I get different things from each comedian. And Cat Williams is one of those guys that is electric on stage. I watched his last special. As Pierre said, he can talk about anything. He talked about some politics in that last special, and he has a perspective that is unique. It's honest, and he has a cult following. So yeah, I think he gets the respect that he deserves uh, because of this gigantic following and. Um, also just the fact that he's so mysterious, you know, like even that live, it, it's mysterious. You're like, Ooh, what is Kat going to do next? So I think there's a level of excitement with him. He's an Emmy award winner. He's respected by his peers. And yeah, I think he gets the, the respect he deserves, especially for me. Capone, what are your thoughts? I think he's a comedic genius. Um, I think he's in a very dark place. And even, uh, you know, most of his videos, it, it doesn't seem to be much lighting there. And I think that that's for a reason. Um, he's very, very intelligent to, uh, to the point of making people uh, actually wonder what, he, what is it that he's up to. As a top three, nah. But uh, as a great, great comedian, yeah, I respect that. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't he be in your top three? Come on. Um, because uh, 
basically, uh, there's other comedians that filled those three spaces. <laughs> Damn, that's a good answer, but uh, yeah. <laughs> And, and, and we're talking about today, though, not all time, but today, top three today. No, he's not. He's not in, in the top three. I think that uh, I, I really personally feel that he does a lot of things for attention, and uh, in this business, I guess that is a way of uh, putting yourself in a place to where you stay recognized. But I, I don't. I don't think that it's a lot of smart decisions that he makes. And I'll start with you, Capone. From then to now, do you think his this bad boy persona that you kind of touched on has helped or hurt his career? I don't think anything can hurt his career. After all that he's been through and all that he's shown through uh, dysfunction stuff, uh, I think that um, I think his career is always going to be in a place when people uh, want to see him. Pierre, what about you? I, I think that I think some of the extra uh, uh, curricular activities hurt his career. Um, he's always going to have stand-up fans. You know, that's a whole different thing. A stand-up stand -up from, from your TV and your movie appearance is totally different. He's going to have a stand-up crowd, uh, crowd following as he deserves because, you know, he's going to talk about what he went through and he's just a genius on stage. But I think sometimes when you are volatile as they think he's going to be, you know, companies don't want to hire you or keep you on the set all day long. It kind of worries sometimes. So he's going to have to fight through some of that, you know, show that, you know, he can be, you know, he can be reliable on a set for, you know, you know, three months, six months at a time without doing something crazy. So, so, I, so I do think that um, what he's done is extra critical to has hurt, has hurt him because he, I've heard through the grapevine, he's had some opportunity was, was brought to him for bigger situations and it didn't, um, you know, pan out because of that. Now that was from years, years ago, he might be a, a new man, he, he's ready to rock and roll, but I want to see him on screen. I want to see him. I think he's a very charismatic actor. He's funny. And it's always interesting to hear what he has to say, even if it's in a movie. And he's going to bring his little tidbits of extra. So I want to see him do it. So, you know, I hope it, 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 it doesn't continue to be like that for him. I think you're definitely the voice of many. Um, Rita, I want to come to you before we close out. Do, do you agree with that? Do you also believe that his, you know, those activities have hurt his career? Well, I think that's a, an answer that only Cat Williams can give. Uh, because if you ask him, you know, he may have a different answer than we do. But I think his transparency is important. The fact that he tells us, well, this is what happened. I got arrested and this is why I got arrested and this is what I'm about to do next. That transparency and lack of secrecy, I think it does help because that way you control your own narrative as opposed to somebody creating a narrative for you. So I think the transparency is going to keep him afloat as it has. Absolutely. And I think that's what stand up is all about. It's about telling your story. And I think he has a perfect platform to do that. And I think he does do that. What keeps, what, what keeps us all at the edge of our seats. But you heard from us. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think about Cat Williams' overall impact in comedy? Let us know in the comments below. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Put it in the comments. Do you know the comedy culture? Play Comedy Hype, the game. Out now.